Metal balls! Metal balls! Let's go! I am so hyped for this video. Metal balls got the best support ever. Pendulums got the best support ever. Magician Souls is now searchable by like a billion ways. And if you guys are excited for this, for Metal Foes, for Magician Souls, don't worry for budget players, it's gonna be reprinted soon, don't worry, don't worry. If you guys are excited for that, if you guys are excited for the best collab in the history of Pendulums, this is Steven and Yasin together making the best video for you guys. If you guys are ready for that, you guys smash the subscribe button at 50,000 subscribers. We will be going to Thailand, Japan, China, and we're gonna be playing Pendulums in OCG land with Electro, my Starving Man, and everything. So you guys wanna see that, you guys need to smash the subscribe button, cause that's the only way we'll be going, baby. 50K sub special, go do it. I wanna go get my ticket right now, so smash the subscribe button. And while you're there, you might as well go on TriffGaming.com. Get the beautiful Triff Playmats. And also, we gotta show some love to my boy Yasin, down in the description comment below also smash the subscribe button for my boy you seen this man is a mad scientist genius when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh so go check it out that's my boy and with that being said let's get straight into this metal foes video for you guys let's go you know what this card does you, you know what it, well who cares because the deck can still make 20 negates let's go Sometimes people look at me and ask me, Yasin, how can you be this good at the game? I just don't get it. Well, first of all, I also don't get it. And second of all, would be a good start if you could just play Pendulums. I mean, it's the best deck in the game for a reason. And then after that, a second good start would probably be to smash the living pancake out of the like and subscribe button. Then after that, potentially go check out my channel, Yasin656, for consistent combo videos, deck profile testing, card reviews, deck reviews, you name it, literally everything that exists in the entire planet. I kind of make these videos. So today, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be taking a look at Metal Foes and how ridiculously they became, thanks to this new Metal Foes card, Illusion of Chaos Foes. Yeah, okay, you get the point. It's a level 7 ritual monster. Level 7 ritual monster. Level 7 ritual mo Okay, yeah, you- you- uh, yeah, okay. Un unless you're actually very stupid, you probably already were able to kind of get that in your head. And it has a pretty uh, irrelevant effect on the field, but it's fine because the only thing that we're really using it for is the first effect. You can reveal it and then add either Dark Magician, haha, <laughs> good joke, or a monster, non-ritual, obviously, that specifically lists Dark Magician in the card text. And uh, what happens to kind of be a really good metal full support card that uh, just conveniently happens to have dark magician in the card text well uh, <laughs> you're going to find out soon enough but of course before we start please make sure you smash the living pancake again always smash uppercut elbows I don't even know how Sam does it but yeah do that on the like button and then subscribe blah 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 all right uh, now let's get into combo number one so assuming that you have illusion of chaos or pre oh, I already said okay preparation of rights is how you search this card look at what you can do so you will be revealing it and search magician souls <laughs> that is so incredibly convenient <laughs> magician souls in the uh, in metal forces it's kind of disgusting kind of but yeah so gold driver is going to be scaling uh alongside Volflame, flame which you're just gonna pop anyways they can kind of be any metal foes it doesn't really matter you're going to be scaling your second metal foes and then you're going to be destroying your first one set another combination though this can kind of be done with three cards and assuming that we have a third metal foes uh, sorry or a fourth one in this situation we can scale it again to search our uh, para metal foes fusion and now we can go ma <laughs> magician souls in order to send that jackal king send the two combinations which is nasty. You draw to and you search to. Uh, how, how ridiculously unfair is that? Look, we're drawing Metal Fools Fusion, which is kind of considered to be like the worst draw in the deck, and it's fine. We're still gonna make 20 billion negates. Uh, do you really think that scares me? Of course not. Yeah, you're going to get your searches, and then you're going to normal summon literally anything in the alphabet. You're going to be making Cross Sheep and then flipping that pair of Metal Fools Fusion. Make Mithrilium by using one monster from the face up extra deck alongside either one monster 
from your hand or field in order to fuse that Mithrilium to a zone cross she points to, which allows, you, allows us to revive back a monster from the grave, and Magician Souls is a monster in the grave. Now, the reason why we really need Magician Souls back is so we can make a Selene, since it is a spellcaster and cross sheep is whatever, as long as you're using at least one spellcaster. And we're going to be scaling a card first, so we have a combination of three spells in the field and graveyards. So Selene is going to gain three spell counter, and you need three spell counters in order to revive back the Jackal King. Now, this Jackal King currently doesn't really have any counters, so the Mithrilium can actually kind of do a two in one deal here. Recycle back her combination, get back a Metal Fool's monster who already used its effect, and when we activate the card, our Jackal King gets two, two spell counters, which is enough to kind of negate cards now, which is kind of nice. If our opponent wanted to Nibiru us way too early, it wouldn't actually be bad for us at all. We would still be able to make a Link 2 because the Mithrilium would be floating, and then obviously the Nibiru token would be summoned on our field, and we would still have our Pendulum Summon. So before we even make our Pendulum Summon, we have Appaloosa and Jackal King and Volflame and full scales with a card in our hand. And that's pretty freaking good because the Pendulum Summon in this deck is kind of disgusting in a way. <laughs> and this is a pretty linear combo. You're always doing the exact same. It's very reliable and you know for a fact that you can get there as long as you have Souls access. But anyways, you're going to be Pendulum Summoning from your extra deck. Summon Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. And then your one of your skills is going to pop the Absolute, set a full Metal Force Fusion. Absolute is going to float into Vortex. And then we can use the Metal Force Fusion. We could also go a pair of Metal Fools Melcaster, pop that Bismu gear because we haven't used the effect first. So drawing that Metal Fools Fusion, it wasn't like necessarily needed. It's just a bonus. So yeah, setting a combination here. You see, drawing the Metal Fools Fusion was kind of the exact same as drawing combination anyways, because that's the card that we're trying to set here. And now we're searching with the end phase effect of Bismu gear, which is going to get us any vanilla Metal Fools monster. And during our opponent's turn, do you know how many interruptions is that? It's actually six. So we have Ablu Sefer 2, that's a no-brainer. We have Jackal King, three interruptions, Vortex Omni Negate, four. How are we getting this, the two other interruptions? Well, during our opponent's turn, we can fuse for full Metal Fool's Alkahest by using Orichalc and Monster in their hand, and we're going to get one pop with the Orichalc and one steal with the Alkahest. Now, one thing that is absolutely noteworthy here is that with the two Metal Fool's combination, I just kind of wanted to assume that you didn't necessarily have to rely on them, but you could actually flip them, and then instead of summoning Alkahest, you summon Azothless, which is a level 7 fusion monster that I will be showcasing in the next combo and since it is a level 7 fusion monster combination is going to be triggering to summon back up to well up to two since obviously you have two combinations uh, up to two level six or lower metal fools monsters from your graveyard so we could get back the mithrilium and we could get back either the steel in or yeah I mean kind of just steal in here that's kind of nasty and of course we can pop and steal so yeah six interruptions our opponent is just going to die next turn because we have a scale we still have a bunch of cards and we probably have some other cards to work with depending on what was our opening hand. That's pretty nasty, but uh, combo number two just gets even better. I think we can all unanimously agree that this hand is much worse than the game one hand because we kind of draw, we, we drew two taxes and they are the worst two taxes that you can kind of see in the Metal Force deck because if you drew two combination, it's actually not that bad. Magician Souls can all resend them and then you get your engine going, so it's fine. But Metal Force Fusion and Pair Metal Force Fusion, you kind of want to access them as late as possible, not really as early as possible. Drawing them kind of sucks. Me Jackal King, not the greatest card to see because you kind of want to foolish it with the souls, but that's what you might think in theory. Don't worry, the hand is still completely playable. Summoner's Art, if we play the good old Clifford Scout package with Monolith, we could make Nova and Infinity. It's just that, eh, why bother, right? All right, Abductor and then activate Summoner's Art, get that Volflame and then activate it, get that Jackal King, which we are going to be popping in order to set that combination. And, uh, oh, of course, we can search Magician Souls with Abductor. Oh, so incredibly convenient. Mm. The one issue is that Magician Souls can only send one combination, so that's what kind of why I said that this the hand was indeed worse. But it's fine, uh, we can get that search with our two draws from Souls, and then another draw from Fusion, so we are already back to having a full hand. It's kind of nasty. Bare Metal Falls Fusion is great here. It's, a, it, it's actually do doing so much. Getting the Jackal King from the extra deck to the grave helps a lot, because the Selene will get back the Jackal King. M Illusion of Chaos, ironically enough, makes it so you no longer have to play multiple Jackal King or like Jackal and Endymion, if you want that Magician Souls to work. We can just Foolish for Illusion of Chaos. 
that's why Magician Souls is actually kind of broken now, because you don't have to splash in any weird cards. You just play an engine of three Magician Souls with two to three Illusion of Chaos, if not more, because you can play like 12 souls in this deck. You have Abductor, Souls, Preparation of Rites, Illusion of Chaos. Eh, it's just disgusting, right? And yeah, you can get all, so many pluses with souls by sending your trap cards, your spell cards, drawing cards, and then getting the effects of the card. So the rest of the combo, well, I mean, at least this part of the combo will look very similar to what we did in combo number one. It's just that we won't have the exact same sequencing, and you're going to see this soon enough. So we're going to set that Metal Force Fusion now, even though we already use the effect in the graveyard to draw one card, we can still kind of set it and be able to fuse that way. So we're going to set the Abductor, and then we're going to be popping it to send full Metal Force Fusion, activate the Gold Drag River, which is our final skill, and then make Appaloosa using Mithrilium, revive back that Silvered, and then Pendulum Summon for three again before our Pendulum Summon, we add Appaloosa and Jackal King. Now we had a couple of Abductors on the field, so why not make a Dweller, because they're not Metal Force Monsters, so I can't really fuse them with them, I might as well just Xyz with them. Now we're making Oracal, we can still do that, and then pop the Bo- sorry, Bismu Gear, set combination, get our Enfei Search, and yeah, you're going to get that Steel in, and here I'm kind of want to I, I kind of wanted to showcase was uh, what what the uh what Azophilus would do. So as you see, as you can see, it's a level 7 monster, and we can revive back our Mithrilium when we fusion summon it. And this card, if it's special summoned, you can target one card the opponent controls, shuffle back two monsters face up from your extra deck into the deck, I think two metal foes, or two monsters, two pendulum monsters from your extra deck into the deck, and then destroy that card, and if it gets destroyed, you can put back in the scale. And yeah, I mean, it. It's, it's pretty cool. It's actually a really interesting effect. It's another interruption. Obviously, Orichalc is an interruption, so this is still six interruptions. And again, you have a follow-up play, which is really, really relevant. But that's it for the combos. Now let's get into the deck profile. Again, just friendly reminder to like this video and subscribe to Steven's channel, as well as checking out my own channel. That would be seriously appreciated. I love all of you guys, even though you guys probably don't even know me, since... I, I'm not Steven, and you guys are probably not used to seeing humans that aren't Steven on Steven's channel. But still, we're both Canadian, so it's fine. Anyways, for the Metal Foes monsters, I'm playing uh, a lot. <laughs> so, three Volflame, actually, sorry, six Volflames, because uh, three Summoner's Art. Uh, this card being a spell makes Abductor a bit better, because it gets you, like, two spell counter counters instead of just one. So, I kind of like it. Three Gold Driver, of course. Three Silvered with three Steel in. You could be playing Rescue Rabbit, but I want to use my normal summon on Abductor. Rescue Hamster is just worse overall so I'm not a big fan but yeah, anyways three Malcaster this card's actually pretty interesting it's a level seven so it makes odd eyes absolute very easy to make and on top of that it actually does have an effect when it is destroyed so it's actually kind of a better version of Volflame I want to say anyways one Jackal King which is always the send target with souls even if you drew it as you clearly saw it's actually not the end of the world you can still fuse using it from the extra deck uh, using the Parametal Force Fusion and then you're going to be reviving it back with Celine so it changes absolutely nothing to the combo whether you draw or not draw Jackal King, changes nothing. 3 Abductor, again, this card searches soul, it's a level 1 spellcaster, so you are trying to play 3 Abductor on top. 3 Bismu Gear, of course, 3 Magician Souls, 3 Illusion of Chaos, this card is absolutely nasty, it's disgusting, searches you Magician Souls with kind of just no drawback, and Preparation of Riot searches Illusion of Chaos with no drawback, so you can play, yeah, 12 souls. It's pretty freaking good. Alright, Pet <laughs> Parametal Force Fusion, upstart so we can play 39 card deck, Metal Force Fusion, triple Summoner's Art, triple pre uh, Prep, and then one full Metal Force Fusion and two combination. You don't need more than two. You're not desperately trying to draw it. You'd rather draw a bunch of scales, so you can always have a full extra deck and then Pendulum Summon for like three cards instead of just two, because otherwise, when you're only trying to send the combinations that you hard draw, it's a bit worse. But anyways, that's it for the main deck. Some people might ask me why you're not playing Painful Decision, why you're not playing Box of Friends, uh, with like Vector and Draco face off and stuff like that, Unexpected Die. These cards are just not great because Electrum is not a thing. So having two monsters on the field doesn't achieve that much. Uh, because our Link 2 is Cross Sheep, which is absolutely nothing compared to Electrum. Electrum is infinitely better. Even without Astrograph, it's still really good. But with Electrum, with this little baby right there, we can actually do quite a lot. So, yeah. Anyways, for the extra deck, one Oricalc, one Vortex, of course. You can summon it using it uh, using the effect of Odd Eyes Dissolver as well, if you want to play this instead of Jackal King. Or you can actually just 
send the absolute and then summon vortex that way it's pretty good one azorthless had uh, one azorthless okay that's the name of the card parametalfos azort it's it's complicated okay it's, it's complicated but yeah two me two mithrilium you kind of have like an infinite loop of recycling back resources every time with this card it's pretty nice one alkahest one absolute one dweller appaloosa Celine, phoenix just fire attribute. Yeah, this deck is one of the only decks in the entire game that, can, well, pendulum deck that can out anti spell. If even if your hand is just a bunch of metal force cards, you can go normal summon a vanilla and then make link spider summon another one and then make phoenix. This card maybe like I don't know a metal force fusion if you're good at the game, destroy your opponent's anti spell and then play the the, the game from there. So phoenix is actually really really freaking nice here. Anyways, a one mascarina. Uh, you can use odd eyes absolute with mascarina and something else to make apple suffer three during your opponent's turn, and you also trigger the effect of absolute to summon vortex during your opponent's turn and vortex has another effect where when it's special summoned you can target one face up attack position special summon monster i believe not even special summon monster uh just bounce it back and obviously it has that omni negating effect which everyone knows about but yeah anyways cross sheep with link spider link rebo link rebo is only there so when you have two magician souls one of them turns into link rebo because cross sheep does require two monsters with different names so two uh, magician souls would not function in order to make cross sheep if you're not playing Link Rebo, otherwise it's not a problem. Anyways, for the idea section, that's not really a side deck, and this is just a typical thing for me. I always make idea sections. So one, Performer Pala Odd Eyes Dissolver, again, a really cool way of easily cheating out your Vortex without having to go through all the loops with Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. This is just unnecessary. And then, of course, we're playing Purple Ma Purple Poison Magician in the side deck. In the real side deck, we're still playing this card. Going second, this card actually helped me out so much at, I think I main deck this card at the YCS that I topped. I think YCS Memphis. I'm pretty sure I either main deck three copies or I sided three copies, but this card was disgusting. You break boards like there's no tomorrow. It's better in Metal Foes than in actual Magicians because going second, you just go scale a Pendulum Metal Foes and then scale Purple Poison, then go pop, pop, destroy your uh, whatever, your Floodgate, anything, and then I can get to play through Negates because if you scale this, nobody's negating your Purple Poison. Absolutely nobody. Because obviously, if this card gets destroyed, you can destroy another card. So, uh, yeah, you kind of want to let Purple Poison resolve, unfortunately. And then if you're negating one of my Metal Foes, kind of does nothing because I start with the Metal Foes first and I have a six card hand going second. So, uh, this card applies quite a lot of pressure. If anything, I can just normal summon it and crash. But yeah, you get the point. All right, Crimson Knight. This is the best super poly target in the entire game. One Metal Foes monster with two monsters with 3,000 or less attack. Mmm, super poly. Uh, normal summon any monster in my, uh, in my deck. Normal summon and then super poly uh, game, yeah? Yeah, this is the best super poly deck in the entire game as well. Better than Shadal because you can use two monsters your opponent controls. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> All right, anyways, uh, Pankratops uh, going second, whatever. It's a level seven, so even if you don't need it to kind of break your opponent's board, you can make absolute even though I don't really recommend it too much. One Amalgam as an idea for the future, potentially, if this card kind of gets better. I don't think this card is great though. I tried combos with it and everything that this card enabled was something I could do without this card in the first place. So I'm actually really not a big fan of this card. Uh, Burl Sword, Unicorn, Hita, Proxy F Magician is actually kind of funny. So it's a <laughs> link to generic monster. You only need two effect monsters. During your main phase, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck. You're using monsters from your field as fusion materials. So yeah, you can randomly make uh, fusion monsters like the Metal Fools fusions using Proxy F. And then it has another kind of irrelevant effect, but still. Uh, this card's kind of cute. Uh, Hita, by the way, I also considered playing the other card, but it's not too great. Like, you can destroy it and then recycle back a fire from your grave. Uh, the, the, like, the, the fire version of... Okay, I forgot the name, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, Springful Decision, Super Poly, Link Cross, and Smoke Grenade are banned! So we can't play these freaking cards if only Link Cross banned actually seriously hurt the deck a lot. Uh, we lost a lot of power and we didn't get it back uh, since the last time, but we gained quite a lot of consistency in the form of six extra copies of souls, which definitely helps, but it doesn't necessarily make the deck that much better out of nowhere. And Smoke Grenade, yeah, this this card was good in Metal Foes. It was really good. Going first, it was a, basically a guarantee that you play through your opponent's board, through your opponent's hand traps, rather. And going second, you could break boards just easily with Super Poly and Purple Poison. So this deck uh, was always broken in the first place, going second. But that's, it, <laughs> that's everything for this uh, video. I really hope you guys were able to enjoy. Again, make sure you like and subscribe. And also check out my channel if you
you if you want to i'm not forcing you to do anything but if you do it would be seriously appreciated thank you so much and i will see you potentially one day all right peace guys